Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, we are back. In this video, I want to show you what to do after you start getting clicks to your offers. So in the previous videos, I showed you three parts of creating your first campaign. I walked you through your campaign settings, adding in keywords, uh, creating effective ad copies, and then setting your bids, and adding your tracking link to your ads that you created. So remember our tracking link was keyword dash ad ID and then query string so what was actually typed in and ad group and then finally network so we had that on all four of our ads and I I created this campaign February 7th and I let it run for two days and today we got two clicks at uh, and oh one more thing I had to change the bid because I was getting impressions when I first submitted this campaign. Once it got improved, I was getting impressions, but my average position was so low that I had to raise my bid. So in the previous video, or one of the previous videos, you can see I set the bid for 40 cents for the weight loss being suggested, and then 25 cents for the bulk being suggested. So then I raised it to 70 cents for the weight loss being suggested, and then 60 cents for the being bulk suggested. And that seemed to have worked. So yesterday I had about four clicks and they're all from the weight loss being suggested. And my bid was 70 cents, but my average cost per click was only 44 cents. And that just goes to show that you're not, Bing's not gonna spend your full bid on each click. So if even if I wanted to bump this up to a dollar per click, bump my bid up to a dollar, my average cost per click could still be like 60 cents. And that goes into having a higher quality score. The more relevant your ad is, the Bing will like reward you with the lower cost per click. So anyways, we got some clicks and now we can dive into our data in Click Magic because we set everything up in the previous videos. Now we can dissect the data, see what's working. Remember we set up our action pixel, so we're gonna check that out too. So that was yesterday and today, so four and two. So we got a total of six clicks in the past two days. So let's go over to Click Magic, And here's a little motivation for you guys. These are my stats from the past week, from February 3rd to February 9th. I spent about, what was it, a little over 700 in the past week on Bing ads. And the total revenue is 1761 So I made about $1,000 or so in the past week. Uh, using these strategies that I've just taught you guys in the past however many videos. So this isn't me saying, oh my god, look at how much money I'm making. Oh, I'm such a super affiliate, you know. This is me trying to motivate you guys to take my training seriously because there's so much money to be made with Bing ads and affiliate and CPA marketing. So anyways, let's go to the links that I created. So I'm in my test group, the CLA Safflower Oil landing page. Unique clicks, six. So that's perfect because I got four clicks yesterday and two clicks today, so that adds up. So out of the six clicks, one person actually clicked on the buy button or the image and was sent to the sales page. So our action fired properly, which is good. Uh, this CLA sales page, that should only be at one click. And we got some, where is that? I got two clicks from Nepal. I'm not sure how that happens. Sometimes you'll get random clicks from random countries. But so anyways, let's dive into the unique clicks. So these are the six clicks that we got. And remember that this was our tracking link right here. So in the first sub ID spot, we're gonna have the keyword that generated the click along with the ad ID that generated the click. And then our second sub ID was the query string. So what was actually typed into Bing, what was actually typed into the search engine which resulted in the click. So in the third spot, we have our ad group. And then lastly, network, was it Bing owned and operated? Was it Bing AOL and Yahoo owned and operated? Or was it syndicated, uh, their partners? So let's dive in. This is the most recent click we got today. Because remember, today's February 9th. So the keyword which generated the click was safflower oil weight loss. And then this is our ad ID. And then if I hover over the I, we can see the rest of the sub IDs that we're tracking. This was typed into Bing, organic safflower oil. So this is the keyword right here that we had imported into our campaign, safflower oil weight loss. And 
it showed up our ad for someone who typed organic safflower oil. And this was in the ad group Bing Suggested Bulk. Remember, we set up the ad group in the previous video. And then sub ID4 is network, so S. That is syndicated search partners. It wasn't Bing, someone didn't go on Bing.com and type this in. It was a syndicated search partner. So all this is so like just relevant data. I see the keyword weight loss generated all of the other clicks. And let's just, let's go through some more of these. So what products are safe for losing weight? This was typed into a syndicated partner site and that resulted in the click. And let's just keep going. I will go over all six of these. So best weight loss program in the weight loss being suggested ad group. And this was syndicated as well. So I'm starting to see a really big trend going on right now. Uh, okay. This one was lose weight from weight loss plus being suggested syndicated search partner. Next best weight loss program this was weight loss plus being suggested in this and it's syndicated again and this one is weight loss what was actually typed in was CLA plus 1250 for weight loss that what was typed in and the keyword weight loss generated this click and this was in weight loss plus being suggested and this was owned and operated so there's only one owned and operated click out of all six of these interesting data so one thing you can also look at when you see that there's a syndicated click you can look at the referrer over here they'll have the links from the website which resulted in someone clicking your ad next it shows the IP address of every click that we have received next to that is the country so out of the six clicks we got five from the US and one from Canada next you can see if they were using Chrome or Safari or whatever internet browser and then after that, it'll show you if it was a mobile click. So this one was. So you can see the mobile phone right there. And it was actually an Android. And if it doesn't have the phone, that means it was from a laptop. So this one is Windows 7. And if you keep going down, I can see that four of the clicks were from a mobile phone. One was from a tablet. That's a tablet right there. Using iOS and Safari 9.0. Four clicks from a mobile phone, one click from a tablet, and one click from a computer or a desktop slash laptop. And all this data is incredibly useful because let's say down the road I'm spending hundreds on advertising and it results in four sales. Let's just use four for example. They all came from people using a laptop and using Chrome as their default browser. And out of all the money that we spent, let's just say we spent 50 on mobile phones and none of them converted. We can go in and totally block out the mobile phone and just focus on having the ad show to people on their desktop. So that is how you can really zero in on your targeting. So that's the unique clicks. Another thing I want to go over is the action. So if I click action, there's one person that took action and it was the keyword was weight loss. Here is your ad ID and I want to show you how you can check the ad ID actually. So go back in your campaigns and go to ads. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, so ad ID isn't added in here yet. I thought I did. But all you have to do is go to columns, modify columns, and just add in the ad ID. And for this example, I'm going to drag it all the way up. And then apply. So this is our ad ID right here. So let's go look at the last four digits is 4802 so this is the ad that resulted in a click it must have been yesterday let's go yesterday so this is the ad C4802 this is the ad that resulted in someone clicking and go or clicking the buy button in our landing page and going to the CLA Safflower offer page the sales page so once you keep advertising let's say a week goes on and you got a whole bunch of sales over here you can see which ads are the ads that are bringing people to your landing page and resulting in sales and then you can get rid of the ads that aren't converting at all and then get ideas from the winners and keep split testing your ads keep improving it so that's it for this video. I hope you guys got a lot of value in all the previous training videos. 
I showed you A to Z how to set up a full campaign to use for Bing Ads. And if you follow, if you followed along, congratulations because this is when you start making the big bucks using Bing Ads and CPA marketing. I put in a lot of time creating this uh, uh, free training course for you guys. So, so that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.